That means one more time around, the pace car will pull down low off the rear pit gate, off the rear uh, straightaway into the rear pit gate entrance. Michael's the 16 of Dean Ho. Coming down off the corner, green flag is out from starter Bruce Lee. Shorty will look low, no room down there. It's Hogue in the 16, jumping out in front. Oh, one of Russ Wood, fourth turn. Russ Wood in the number two spot, has Cusick on the outside. Dean Hogue out in front, here's Cusick. Riding high, wide, and handsome in the double zero. Cusick now looking for the lead, swing shots down the back straight. The double zero, the little pumps in a car out in front. Gusick now takes the early lead, and he'll look to run away and hide, but Joya gets a wheel underneath Hogue, down the front straight, Joya takes second, Hogue running third, and the race, the number three, which had been driven by Richie Evans. So an interesting uh, set of circumstances. Pace picks it up, green flag is out way over in turn three. Joya looks down low, finds a car down there blocking him off, that's the 21 of all races. Has been penalized one lap for passing before the green. Pattern Oscar down one lap for passing before the green. So he becomes a laddable zero. Joe Gusick, the first home center car, a car way up against it there. Out in front, double zero. Joe Gusick, the number nine, Steve Joyer running second. 21, Gary Aldridge, and right there first. Gusick running laps of 1789. 1789 for Gusick. Warren Collier now in the number four spot. Dean Hogue is running fifth. Tony is fourth. Jamie Moore now fifth. Dean Hogue is sixth. Rush one is seventh. Mike Baldwin is eighth. Bellinger has now moved up to 12th. Right behind Bentley Warren. As they go, Bellinger gets a book from Richie Evans. Goes to the outside. He goes by. Bentley Warren. Don Ramage. Done by Darrell. All on the outside. And he stays out there. Says, hey, I like this. This is okay. Now he comes around another car, the 17 of Old Hill. So Eddie Ballinger takes four cars in one lap on the outside. Here comes your race leader, the double zero, Joe Gosick, and lap down. We've got the clocks on Gosick, as right now he leads by one and two ten seconds over Steve Joya. Joya in the number two spot. Third Warren Cody in fourth. Jamie Moore fifth. Dean Hogan is sixth. Russ Wood is seventh. Eddie Bellinger has already moved up to eighth. Doug Nidero running ninth. Bentley Warren goes out to top ten. Meanwhile, your leader, Mike Schrock is seventh. Just a little bit of a quick breakdown here. On the number 70 of Warren Murray David developing engine problems. He's definitely got smoke. Coming off the 70, 70 of Gary Morton. Heavy smoke in the middle. The 11 of Brian Herb still in the pits. Your race leader, Joe Gosick has gone by the 70 of Joe Heavy traffic right now as Bentley Warren has closed back in on him. We've got 15 laps completed, 60 remaining in the 75 lap National Park Pedal Feature Race. A real battle going on back here as Bellinger now moves to the outside of Terry Johnson. He has gone by Russ Wood. Now stays outside and goes by Kevin Lyons. Gosick, the leader, puts a lap on Doug Hebron. Headline goes a lap down, Joya running in second. Danny Bellinger moving quickly now, has clear track ahead, while Gosick is catching up to Bellinger from behind. Joe Gosick, who has the advantage of the passing flag, is moving in on the three of Eddie Bellinger. Meanwhile, Doug Nidero is holding in that three-quarter lead now for Joe Gosick. Over the number nine of Steve Joyer. Bellinger has got by Dean Ho. Now working on the zero of Gene Gibson. Is not that far behind Bellinger. Trying to put a lap on him. Goes at the leader. Joyer second. Albert third. Cody in fourth. Catholic ahead. Goes at running on the outside. Mighty Joe leads the number nine of Steve Joyer. By two full seconds. 23 laps down. We'll put Bellinger on the clock just to see what he's turning. As Gosick is closing in on him from the rear. Mighty Joe trying to put a lap on. Everybody is. He is just running away. Gosick out in front in the double zero. The Burke Home Center sponsored machine owned by Tony Asenic. Bellinger, meanwhile, is running 17-5 in the number three. A 17-5 for Bellinger in the number three. That is, believe me, as fast as anybody. Gosick running around those same feet as we complete 
lap number 25, as Mark Fletcher pumps the wall down here in the first turn, and then comes down and catches the inside up rail. So Mark Fletcher takes the long ride, the long stretch after the front turn, the first turn. I like to see that Josie Quinn one. Somebody ought to take a picture of this because it hasn't happened here before. Hopefully it will never have side wall. It doesn't look as bad as we thought it might at first because he hit it a pretty good lick. But you can see how why he was not in job. All right, here they are, looking for the green. It's on there. And Joe, Joe Gose takes the lead on third track ahead. And I'm going to... the white flag from starter Norm Bacon. Setting the pace, puts the hammer down over in turn three, green flag back out. Joya does look to the outside, as does Podium and Bellinger right behind him. Down the front shoot, Joseph in the double two. Hold now, goes to the outside and holds up. Joya wheel underneath going down into the third turn, but that's gonna be a tough way to go with a lot of slower cars with a passing flag ahead. Passing flag is out for a number of them. Goes way wide, trying to come by the 16 of Hope. Hope playing jam car in the high groove as Bellinger goes low, but Paternoster cuts him off. They go three deep. They just barely fit over there in turn three. Joseph down in front. He's running 17 68 here on the takeoff lap. Joya running in the number two spot. Here's Bellinger again, looking low under the 99 of Warren Cunningham. They're still trying to come by the 16 of Dean Hope. He is still one of the top cars running on the lead in the top 10 or 12 at any rate. Now Bellinger pins Cody him in and he goes by. Here comes Holbrook. Bellinger has moved up to third. He is moving after the nine of Joya. Into the pitch. It's the 28 of Doug Dygaro. He is overheating. Seven 
It was totally apart on Tuesday. They just got it finished today. Obviously, they put it back together right. As the double zero, Joe Gosick. All right, now he's coming out from behind the wheel. How about letting him hear it again? Mighty Joe going to come out. He'll walk over to the Budweiser Oswego Speedway pace car. The hug from Tony Ascetic. That's uh, Chuck Hanley from T.J. Burke. The Burke Home Center on East 2nd Street in Oswego. His sponsor, Courtney Stockham, gives him a hat. Mighty Joe puts it on. Bruce Lee leads him to the pace car. Boy, this has been a long time coming. People have expected it for the last couple of years. He has been so close so many times. You think he's happy? All right, as he comes down the front straight, down here in turn one, you got your chance down here. Let's let him hear it. Burke Home Center crew and uh, Chuck Hatley from Burke Home Center all down there, and I'll tell you, this guy's got to be as happy as anybody has ever been. His first feature win at the Oswego Speedway comes out. To, uh, we'll walk over now and uh, talk to the people who are going to be making the presentations, have some uh, photos taken. We're going to be pushing the double zero back into the pits. Rich Goldstein is down there, and Rich, uh, why don't we just turn it over to you and let you take it away. is now turned on. We couldn't get any official word from the crew other than the total jubilation. Maybe we could have one big cheer from the crew so they don't, they don't want to go on mic officially, but let's hear some noise from the Osetic Gosic crew. Just a little bit of bedlam down here for a change. Seems to be a weekly affair, actually. And uh, the lovely Pam and Corky Stockham again with the big hardware, the National Parts Peddler Trophy, and uh, a great run by Eddie Bellinger and Steve Joya. But this had to be the day. We knew it was coming. We waited for really a couple of seasons now. And let me finally get to shake the hand of mighty Joe Gosick right here in Victory Lane. Joe, you got one. Finally. I can't believe it. It finally came true. I dreamed and dreamed, but finally things came together. And I'm glad for all my sponsors, especially uh, Burke's Home Center. I couldn't say enough about them. Pennzoil, uh, Corky Stockton with National Parts Peddler, and a million others. Goody Goodfellow. Um, if I left anybody out, and all my friends here that cheer for me week after week, thank you very much. Uh, it's going to take a while to sink in, but I'd like to thank everybody who got us here. I drove the car, but still, it wasn't for everyone. All the sponsors, they hung with us through thick and thin, and finally it's come true. Well, I understand that was a Polish compound on the right rear tonight. Maybe that's what helped turn the tide. That was the tire that I ran last week, a whole half lap in the Sandusky Classic, and we thought we'd go with it today. <laughs> and uh, Red told me to add that. Member of the Thousand Dollar Club now at the Oswego Speedway. What does that mean for Tony and Joe and the guys? Well, to Tony, it's got to mean something. Uh, it's his first win ever. I knew we could do it being a team with our own engines, which Tony builds, and the car, which we both maintain, and just everything together. I'd just like to thank everyone that got us here. The zoo up in the first turn, uh, you name it, everyone that stuck with us. My parents have stayed with me since the beginning, and here they come. I couldn't say enough about the best parents in the world. Well, uh, Mighty Joe, uh, this was a night of firsts for real. George Brunholzer with his first ever here in Oswego, and his first in a long, long time. And Joe, you won uh, here in the Canandaigua Wine event, but we didn't count that as a regular feature win. But now it looks like you've just about got the lap leader thing all sewn up, and you're moving up into the top five in points tonight as well. Mighty big accomplishments. And uh, one other thing, I think, too, uh, something about a guaranteed starting spot. Well, we'll take that, too, anything we can get. I'd also like to thank Good and Goodyear Tires. I mean, Red and Goodyear Tires for all the help they've given us. That's the name of the game there, tires, I guess. And uh, thank you very much to everyone. All right, now we've got a couple more official presentations to make. You know this guy, the Budweiser man. Mr. Dorsey's got a cold one for us. I hope he hasn't shaken it. 
We'll save that uh, routine for just a moment. Joe gets the uh, first cold one here, a nice cold sip of Bud. He's going to drink a toast to Dan Dorsey and Budweiser beer. The winner on the Budweiser qualifying trail is Joe Gosick, a guaranteed starter for the International Classic 200. And boy, if you think this place was rocking tonight, imagine if Joe wins the Classic after earning a guaranteed spot here on his home track. And uh, we'd like to get the rest of the Gosick family right in here. Come on, Leo and Mary. Let's get a quick picture with Leo and Mary, who stuck with them through thick and thin, according to Joe, the best parents in the world. I can't vouch for that, but I know they're fine folks. We've got another presentation right now. Jay Roger Champagne and Canandaigua Wine Company coming to the fore. And uh, Mr. Rockwell, we're going to change the hats and let you have the mic for a quickie. Congratulations, Joe. It's about time. I think everybody's really pleased there. Thank you very much. That's what we need, people like you, to keep us going. The sponsors are the name of the game here, too. Well, again, our congratulations to Joe. I've just about lost my voice down here. Thanks to Sun Country, J. Rocher, Canandaigua Wine Company. Our thanks, of course, to the National Parks Peddler and to Budweiser as well. I'd like to thank one more person who's been a great help to me. His name's Eddie Thompson. He never got a victory here. Me and him worked together all year. And his engine in the car is one thing I'd like to thank him a lot. He's been a big asset to our team. Well, Eddie Thompson uh, getting a big thank you from Joe and all the gang. And our congratulations to the entire Burke Home Center Double Zero Aesthetic team. Sure thing, Clark. We'll work something out. Thank you very much. Clarky and Pam and uh, George and Joe are going to have the pictures right now.